Okay, so the first step to utilize the local overrides is to enable them under the Google Chrome Inspect tool and then find the Sources tab. I prefer to save the folders under Desktop just for easier discovery, but save them wherever uh, you like. After that, in the top right menu, find More Tools, choose Rendering, and then scroll down to find the Core Web Vitals. Let's enable this so that we can easily see the Core Web Vitals measurement anytime we refresh. Right now, mine are pretty solid, but I'll walk you through the process to break them so that we can really see the true power of the Chrome local overrides and how we can show the impact with our optimizations. So now we get into the fun part um, with a pretty limitless tool. I already have everything set up with overrides and the, the core web vitals and where it's saving. Um, you can see the measurements at the top of the screen are for my mobile rendering. Everything's looking pretty good because I already fixed uh, the cumulative layout shift a while back, which was caused by my logo uh, and mobile menu. But with the inspect tool, let's dig in and find where that is uh, and find the CSS that I have to remedy it. You can see it's, it's super basic when we click into the style sheet uh, to control the movement during loading. It's just the height and width, um, but we can comment it out, save the CSS file, which will be saved locally in the folder you selected. Then we can refresh the page and see that the core web vitals measurements have been impacted. You can see how it dropped a lot. So you can go back in and remove those comments again and see that it bounces back. It's super easy process. Obviously there's so much we can do with this tool. Uh, to get involved with the fixes. Like I said, it's pretty limitless. You can do JavaScript, HTML, CSS, upload images, videos, all those things. Um, so really, hopefully this gives you a nice jump start into local overrides and how you can use it to uh, highlight the optimization's impact. You know, it, it should really go a long way when you're trying to prioritize other tickets if you have something tangible to show. So give it a shot. Let me know how it works or if you have any questions or anything about it. And hopefully this really does a lot for you.